everyone, Dr. Ben here. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite low back mobility exercises. First things first though, this exercise is only for people who have gone through an evaluation with myself or another trained healthcare professional. Do not recommend doing this exercise without being evaluated. This exercise is a lumbar extension exercise, great for mobility of the lumbar spine, the low back if you don't know lumbar spine. It is one of my most commonly recommended exercises. This is what it looks like. You have your hands, you're on your low back. You can have them either this direction, this direction, or fists, whatever is comfortable for your wrists. First thing you wanna do is you tuck your chin down to your chest. This protects your neck, keeps it relaxed during the exercise. You tuck your chin, hands on the low back, and you are pushing your hips forward with your arms. You're not bending backwards, that sets you up for its humble. Keeps your, by pushing your hips forward, this keeps your center of gravity over your feet. It also keeps the muscles of your low back nice and relaxed so they can get a little further with that passive motion rather than trying with the active motion. So once again, hands on the low back, chin is tucked. You push the hips forward, keep the center of gravity over your feet, and then you just let your head fall back and you breathe out. <sighs> Tuck your chin, come back up. Now, I obviously go very far because I don't have a problem with my low back. Only go as far as you feel you can. If you feel like you hit a wall, that's all you need to do. You just touch the wall, come back up. This is the standing variant of the exercise. There's also a prone variant, which I'll show you right here. What you do is you lay on your belly, you have your hands underneath your shoulders, just like you would do a push-up. Legs and low back are relaxed, and you just push your body up with your hands. Arms do all the work. Breathe out, relax into the exercise. If you notice my low back dropped a little more when I exhale. At a natural pace, it looks like this. Natural pace for the standing exercise looks like this. Now once again, I don't have a problem in my back, so I can do it fairly quickly without any issues. If you feel you need to go slower, absolutely go at the pace that's most comfortable for you. Always keep in mind, there's two red lights with this exercise. Red light number one, it's pain radiating from your back down your leg. If that occurs at any time during the exercise, stop, something's going wrong, get a hold of us, come and see me. Red light number two is pain that gets worse and lingers not pain that comes and goes with the exercise. For example, if I do the exercise, ow, oh, that hurts my low back, pain's gone, not an issue. We're moving soft tissue that's to be expected in some cases. However, if you go back and do the exercise, come back up, two minutes goes by and the pain is still there at that increased state, yeah, you probably overdid it a little bit, wait for things to calm back down or come and see us. Thank you.